So we pretty much have the equivalent of the population of New Hampshire in this room. <laughs> so welcome to Summit, Craig. Wow. <laughs> So Look at Craig, all the beautiful people, Jeff. They are beautiful, that's for sure. Now, Craig, you've got quite the story. We're going to jump right into this. So tell us about Craig Daigle, your life, about two and a half years ago before Beachbody. Ooh. Well, that picture right there in the jet ski was July 2015, and I was almost 400 pounds. I was married. I had two boys and a stepdaughter. And a month later, my ex-wife and I's final domestic I became a single parent of three kids. <laughs> and I didn't change my life yet. I struggled with depression and anxiety for a few months. And in November 2015, I lost my stepdaughter to a guardianship case because I'm a stepdad. I didn't have any rights. That was my rock bottom. That was my rock bottom right there. And it all kind of came to a head on December 1st, 2015. Tell us a little bit about that night and that experience you had with yourself and a conversation with yourself. So on the morning of December 1st, 2015, I woke up that morning. I ripped off my CPAP machine because I had severe sleep apnea and I was choking on acid reflux. I legitimately thought I was going to die that morning. I ran out of my bedroom. I ate a whole sleeve of Tums to try and stop my throat from burning. I walked into the bathroom. I had a legitimate conversation with myself. I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, dude, we need to do something about this today. You need to fix something now or your children aren't gonna have a father. Your kids are gonna legitimately have no dad. You need to make a change. I had T25 given to me, given to me. Somebody bought it and didn't use it. Why do we do that? I told myself January 1st I was going to change my life. Why do we do that too? Why was I going to wait till January 1st, right? So December 1st, I gave myself an ultimatum. I said, you know what? I need to do something. So I put in that first T25 disc. And about two minutes in, I hated Tanya. <laughs> Y'all know Tanya, right? She had just had a baby. So I saw Tanya last year. I apologized to her at Summit for all the bad names I called her in 2015. <laughs> I want to tell you, though, I was almost 350 pounds. And my first program was T25. My first program was T25. <laughs> I looked like a newborn baby giraffe in my living room, Jeff. <laughs> when I think of you, Craig, I, I imagine a baby giraffe. It, That's what comes to mind, so you're good. <laughs> it, was, it, it was legitimately ridiculous. I couldn't keep up with Tanya. Um, there were times where I would just jog in place. But you know what I did? Is I stayed moving. I stayed moving for 25 minutes, right? And after I finished, I thought to myself, wow, that was the hardest 25 minutes of my life. And immediately following that, I said this, my life right now is hard 24 hours a day, even when I sleep and I almost died. So I chose my hard, right? I chose 25 minutes of fitness in my living room. Right? And with that, you were, you were starting to see some momentum in your health and wellness, starting to get that momentum going in that regard, but there was still a lot of struggles you were facing in your personal oh. life at home. All right, guys. I was going through criminal cases with my ex-wife, guardianship cases, a divorce, a repossession of a car. You, you can use my hand, too. All right. We just toes, too? Yeah, we'll do All that. All right. I was fighting to keep a roof over my kid's head. I was trying to keep food in the fridge and I was trying to keep the lights on. And I thought to myself, there's no way that I could buy into fitness and health at that point. That was that, that limiting, limiting mindset that I had at the time that I couldn't do something for myself that I thought it was selfish because I had that parent guilt, right? But it's actually selfless to do that for yourself, right? My sister 
invested in me and bought me Shakeology for Christmas. My first bag was invested by my little sister. <laughs> Once I had that, though, I knew, after using it for a little while, incorporating that with my meal plan, that I wanted to keep it going. I didn't know how I was going to afford to do it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to sign up and be a coach so I can get that discount. I didn't care if I saved one dollar, as long as I could do it, right? Well, guess what? I had food in the fridge, I had gas in my car, I didn't have a dime in my bank account, but I had one thing. I had my backup plan. I had a credit card with $145 left in it. I called my friend Janelle and I said, sign me up to be a coach. I maxed out that credit card that day. I maxed it out to be a coach in January of 2016. And immediately following that, at the end of February, I didn't have the money to pay for my Shakeology the next month and I was gonna quit. I was legitimately gonna give up a month into coaching. Wanna know what I did then? I had a Toys R Us credit card. I see what you did there, that's <laughs> smart. So I went to Toys R Us and I got two $50 Visa cards. I told my coach too, I'm like, you know what? Uh, I don't know what's happening with my bank account. Uh, she knew that I just didn't have the money and I was embarrassed, right? I ended up covering the cost. I ended up helping seven people in February. This past February, I ended up helping 18 people. With this community, with this opportunity, with all of you, I've made my children the father that they deserve. I've given my children a role model to look up to. I've given my children fitness and nutrition in their life. And if you ask my youngest son why dad works out, he'll tell you to get strong and healthy. And Craig, it was about two and a half years ago, again, that conversation in the mirror, in the middle of the night, you said, we're starting now, we need to do something about this. If you had to go back now and have that conversation with Craig back then, after knowing what you know now and having experienced what you've experienced as a coach, an entrepreneur, a father, a life changer, what would you tell him? You should have done this a long time ago. You should have did this a long time ago because your kids deserve it, because you deserve it, because every single person that you inspire deserves it. And then I would hit myself with my affirmation that I say to everybody. Some of you know it, say it with me if you do. If nobody told you today you're beautiful, you're loved, you're blessed, you are the best. There's nobody better than you. And you are better than nobody but the person that you were yesterday. And tomorrow, you'll be better than you are today. You can have, you can be, and you can do anything that you want in life because you're limitless. Do not forget those words. I think it's safe to say, Craig. Yeah. passion and your story with us. Ladies and gentlemen, give another round of applause for Craig Daigle. Thank you.